Hey, 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 everybody, welcome to the channel. The channel is called Zoo PF Visual Effects. My name is Lobo. This is a visual effects channel, of course, but it will morph into many things in 2020. For those of you who are greater than us, please share your knowledge with us. But for those of you who are learning like I am, welcome to the channel for the returnees. Also, thank you, you're still there with us. This is part two of creating this cool ship here in Blender 2.82. So far, you should have this. We started with the cube and we got crazy and created this. And now here we are with this ship. We need to make the tower, bevel some edges and put some windows into our ship. Okay, that will be part two of this tutorial. What I'm gonna do right now is go ahead and make these invisible. I'm going to be flying through this tutorial like the first one, but make it super easy for you to understand as well. All right, once we're here, make sure you haven't chosen any of these 3d models that you have which for you would only be this one here so if it, it's like this click away because if you don't and we add any other 3d materials to the ship they'll be combined and we don't want to do that okay now can we uncombine them absolutely but it just slows down your workflow and it's all about working smart when you 3d model that's what i learned the hard way okay so once we are here make sure you're on object mode make sure you're on the move icon click add go to mesh and go to cube once we are here you shift to move around like this on your keyboard and grab your cube cube i'm going to move it over here only because i need to be close to my other ship so i can see what i'm doing okay once we are here click on the scale and make that more into a rectangular looking cube now that it looks like this fantastic the next step is just putting a mirror okay so go to uh, edit mode and right click on your rectangle do subdivide and let's subdivide that by three once we are here click away and you see to be able to grab everything use the middle wheel button of your mouse to make it bigger or smaller and go to town just like that once we're here guys all you have to do is click delete on your control board and click faces and that's that and from here go to this icon here but first go back to object mode go to this icon and go to your add modifier and find mirror click on that and once it's mirrored then you just save yourself half of your workflow which is fantastic okay guys this takes care of part one of this tutorial in part two let's go and create the shape of the tower now okay once we are right here click edit mode and it's obvious that we need this edge to come down so our angle is a little bit longer okay so click on edge mode here and then click alt on your keyboard and click your left mouse button and ta-da once you're here just move it downwards and that's all you have to do now make sure you're still on your edge mode and click the top part and move it backwards that's how easy it was guys <laughs> so now that we're here let's go ahead and do some indents to put our windows in places so how do we do this super simple guys uh, there are two ways you can do this really you can use the knife tool and then you can just knife away okay and once you do this then you know it gives you more control okay but also the control that you don't have it it's never straight uh, but if you choose to do the other way, which is the way we're going to do it, then it's just control R and you just put a cut there by itself and it goes all around your 3D object. So click once and then move it forward up and then click twice and that's it. So once you are here, what we also need to do is we need to move this edge backwards and we need to move this edge more to the right here so let's go and do that right now same thing alt on your keyboard left mouse button and move that backwards fantastic same thing here guys and just like that now because we are still a mirror whatever we do here if you're going to do some uh, indent then it's going to leave this piece unindented only because the mirror is still on now if you don't want that then click on mirror and by clicking on mirror it's going to allow you to make sure that if you indent this whole thing it goes all the way around so if we look at mine right here as you guys can see it goes all the way around does that make sense hopefully it does now the only reason why i 
would do this is to because I wanted that but if you don't have to don't do it you always want to make sure that you leave any modifiers unapplied yet because if you want to fix it later you can and modifiers are the non-destructive way of 3d modeling and I'll explain to you guys that later but right now we need to keep going okay all right once we are here this is looking pretty cool now we can do it in two ways you can either click on each of these edges and you do, you can do control B and you can go like this or you can just create a new uh, edge and go from there so for us we're gonna create a new edge okay so control R and once you're here just like that and we're gonna put it about right there that looks pretty good okay and click on face click on these faces right here once you have these like this click on E to extrude and again just go like this to let blender know that we're about to extrude this 3d object and click the right mouse button on your mouse so that it undoes it and then click on the scale once you're here zoom in onto your 3d object so you can see better and again just inward like that and it creates an angle which i really like for these sci-fi looking things so that looks pretty good but if you're like hey i don't want that angle easy guys just go in and click on that click on your move icon and just move it inwards okay so i'm gonna leave mine at that angle like this uh, but for this one i'm actually gonna move it backwards like that okay hopefully that makes sense guys super easy right so now we got to do the same thing for the bottom part and so the bottom part i'm going to do control r again and put a new edge into this but this time let me see how far is it down well actually i kind of like like that so i'm gonna leave it like this just like that so once we're here click on your face again and just go and click these faces same thing click e to extrude go like this right mouse button and then click on your scale and zoom in so you know what you're doing and go ahead and just go inwards and that looks about good right there too and again if you want to move the edge you can too i'm going to move the one in the back now could you have done both at the same time yes you could and so if you are again wanting to do things quickly then instead of um, doing one by one you create your cuts and then you click on all the faces and then you do it all together okay you can totally do that too all right once we are here that's pretty good now i'm going to click on all of my faces and actually yep and i'm going to right click and subdivide them and then let's go ahead and subdivide it three times and leave it like this this will be our windows creation right there okay we're not going to use the idon that i have um, instead i'm going to show you guys the easiest way to make windows okay from here then we have to make sure that we have enough room down here to create the bottom piece but guys this is pretty good so far now let's just go and work on the back and then call it good for this section here so click on the faces here and of course click on i and that looks pretty good right there and from there click on e and just move it back like this now does it look like mine no it doesn't because first of all this ship is twice the size so i think making the control tower more uh, beefy looks pretty cool okay guys this totally takes care of part two of this whole entire tutorial all right in part three now we're creating this whole entire thing right there the side panels and stuff coming out which makes uh you know it makes it makes it look like the control tower is really part of the ship all right so the one problem that i see already is this is too small okay and so what we need to do is first of all we need to create a new edge so go and do control r and we're going to put this edge about right there and from there, we're gonna click on this edge and move it over here so it's a little bit bigger and then grab all of these edges, so Alt, and then move it downwards like this, okay? And if it creates that angle like this, it doesn't matter because we're not extruding any of the top, we're just extruding the middle piece here. Okay, so once we are here, uh, does it look like what I want? I would say I might, take it even further back and then take this no actually i'm gonna leave that one the way it is once we have this this is the part where you go here click on that and 
click on E and X2. But once we are here, now what we have to do is we have to take this controller to our ship and see what we truly need done. So go back to object mode and go back to your move icon and just move that backwards. And then move this here like this and move it up. There it is. And move it like this. And as best as you possibly can, just make sure it's in the center. Okay, and then connect it to the ship. Doesn't have to be perfect. All right, so this looks pretty good. Now it does. Okay, so from here, we need a piece that goes in uh, this way and we need a piece that goes that way and then also a piece that comes down, okay? So is it gonna look like the one I have back there? In a way, yes, but in a way not because they are different shits, which is totally cool. Let's get to it right away. Go to edit mode. Make sure you're on your face here. Click on this face here and then right click and subdivide it, okay? Once you have that here, go back to your edge, click the middle pieces and just move it back here to about, that looks pretty good right there. Now go back to your face, click on the two face and click I on your keyboard and move it backwards like this. That looks pretty good. Left mouse click button and click E to extrude and just extrude it out. And then left mouse on your left mouse click again. Oh, that's a mouthful. And then move it downwards. And that looks pretty good, but you're like, ah, that's too much back. That's okay, guys. Just move it backwards a little bit and then move it downwards, okay? Still works. Pretty good. Once we are here, same thing for the back, okay? So here we go. Click here, right click, subdivide. But this time we're going to do it twice. Only because we need that middle piece right here, okay? So stay on your face. Click these three faces. Same thing. Click I. Move it back. That looks pretty good right there. Click E to extrude and move it back like this. Now that we have that, that looks pretty good. So you guys can either decide to, uh, for this next piece, to keep your other extrusion to come downward straight here, or you can put it back here. I'm gonna put it back here instead. But now we need to make sure to see what we're doing. So let's just go ahead and move the tower upwards, just so that we can go beneath it and see what we're doing. From here, guys, super simple, super easy, okay? Well, sorry about that. We need to do edit, go here, and make sure that you can see what you're doing. Right click, subdivide, let's go and do that twice also. And now, however, again, if you guys wanna keep it closer you guys can keep it closer that's totally cool click on edge and click away because we need to grab some edges here and we need to move it i'm gonna move mine over here instead now click i and oh, let's go to face and make sure it looks like this instead now click i there it is and now click e to extrude and that's about it so once we are here like this, that looks pretty good, guys. And now what we have to do is we have to move it back down and just to see what it looks like all together. So that looks pretty good. Let's make sure the control tower is touching. There it is. So guys, pretty easy, right? Okay, this is part three of this tutorial. Okay, for part four, let's go ahead and move this over here again so that we can work on it without having to worry too much about anything. Okay, so I'm sometimes you have this problem with 3D, even all 3D software do this, where you're stuck at your zooming, so you just have to move around so that you get closer to your 3D model. And as soon as you do, then boom, your zooming is back on track, okay? Okay, so once we have this right here, what we need to do now is put some windows into it. So let's go ahead and do that, okay? Let's go ahead and work with our control tower in the center here. So once we have these already, all you have to do is click on any of the windows that you want and then just pretty much add a material to it. Okay, and this is the easiest way of adding windows. Now, if you wanna make sure that your windows are more um, correct to the size, then you can totally correct them too. And all you have to do is just click on whichever one you want and just kind of 
move them however you want but if you do this you have this problem too right there and so what you have to do is if you want more windows you kind of have to manually uh, use your cutting tool and just add those windows wherever you want okay so an example would be if i want my windows to be right here that's what i do and i click this this is why windows on ship used to be extremely time consuming until people started some add-ons on blender which made making windows way easier but the problem with the add-ons is the add-ons also create in uh intrusions into the 3d model and it makes it very difficult when it's time to unwrap the ship and so this ship was really hard to unwrap for the windows and that was a mistake that i made so i'm sharing that with you so you don't make that mistake so don't get crazy with, with the windows all right but since we have that i'm gonna leave it as it is and i'm going to show you guys right now how to make those windows the most easiest of manner so go back to object mode and go to this icon here which is our material properties click on that and click on the plus button once you have that click new and let's say we want the ship to have that gray color right away okay so once you are here click on base color and take it down to a gray color about that looks pretty good and then also make sure that the subsurface color is the same so click on it grab this little eyedropper here and click on that so they're exactly the same and same thing for your viewport display click here i drop boom once you have that now these are in connection to these three right here okay so make sure they are all connected so all three will see the same color so once you are here that's that's great that takes care of this first part here okay then you have to just click uh, well first just name that just say tower color click enter and then create a new material and click new but this time call that one windows if i can spell oh see it's recognizing my windows right here so let's say let's just say windows uh new ship there it is much better okay once we are here now go back into your edit mode and then click on any uh, you know pieces that you want i mean my windows are gonna look completely horrible guys <laughs> but make sure yours don't i'm just showing to you guys how it could look you know how you can make things look like uh let's put one let's make this long here and then let's just put some back here again just like that to fill in places okay once you have that then here just click assign and there it is that's pretty much how you create windows the easiest possible manners without doing any destructions to your 3d model okay any intrusions or anything like that and then if you really want to see how it looks like then right here click on this right here and go to emission and now crank this up to about 10 and then now go to this icon here now when i click on this icon you guys are going to see things look different only because i created some pictures for this 3d model that i put on cg trader for sale okay so i'm going to click on that right now and mine there it is i put some stars in the background this is a real 360 stars so easy to make and so there it is right here i think super bloom because I, I that's how i wanted it to be for my picture that i put for my uh 3d model on, online for sale but there it is guys right cool right so if you like eh, these windows are too bright my eyes are burning then just click on the color right here and then just move it down and now they have exactly what you want and just make sure your viewport is exactly the same right isn't this cool it's pretty cool it's the easiest way to make windows for a ship all right boom you did this it's easy and so all you have to do is the same thing from the, for the bottom part now. So let's just go ahead and click on any of these windows. Uh, you know, again, it's up to you. You decide what you want. You're the master of your 3D model and of your life. How about that? Okay, once you're here, boom, same thing. Go back to Windows, New Ship, Assign, and <sighs> that's how easy it was.
I know. That's how easy it was. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the same thing for this part here too, right? We want the same thing here. So on this part right here, same thing, subdivide. And let's go ahead and just do six times. But remember guys, every time you subdivide, you're making your 3D model a little bit bigger in size and you're giving it more faces. So if you're making a video game, that's something you have to be very careful about, okay? You don't wanna make that mistake. Okay, I'm gonna move it right here so I can see better. And I'm just gonna pick at random, all right? Random choosing. Make sure that, I wanna make sure that as they are random, they don't run into each other too much. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on window again. And there it is, we just created more windows like this, all right? And guys, you put your windows wherever you want, all right? You're the boss of your 3D model, okay? Uh, I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna subdivide this here. I'm gonna do five times and just choose my windows wherever I want them. Now, the one thing you have to keep in mind is, okay, are my windows all the same size? My 3D model here, my windows look absolutely horrid. It's so disgusting looking, it's pathetic. But for yours, make sure yours makes sense. Make sure all the windows are the same size so that there's no confusion, um, you know, as to how big people are in your ship, okay? But for this tutorial, this is just to show you guys how easy it is to make windows that are non-destructive, but might add more faces to your 3D model instead. Okay, that takes care of windows. Okay, guys, let's go ahead now and uh, do some beveling, all right? And again, for your windows, get more complicated with your 3D model and make sure that all the windows look nice. Make sure that they're all the same size. Again, for this tutorial, it's just to show you guys how to do it in a very non-destructive manner, okay? All right, beveling time. So I'm just gonna show you guys where I would like the bevels to be on this ship and then it'll be totally up to you guys to bevel everything else that you want, okay? There are two ways to bevel. You can do the non-destructive manner or you can do the destructive manner. So if we do the non-destructive manner, then let's go ahead and click on our ship first and do edit mode. And if you go onto um, this icon here and you click uh, bevel, then what's gonna happen is it's gonna bevel for you automatically and you guys can see it here too, right? We have some bevels here and it's fighting every places that have hard edges and it completely, it completely, completely, I'm sorry, bevels it for you. But the problem is it's not always accurate because our ship is so complex and it's the way it looks and it's modeling that it's not doing the job. So instead, if I had a cube, so I'm gonna throw a cube here real quick. And you see these cubes all the time in 3D, uh, you know, game, well not games, but in sci-fi games. So let's go ahead and throw also a bevel onto it right now. So you, you see, now you're like, I don't know what he meant. Oh, but now I know what he means. We see a lot of these cubes in sci-fi games or sci-fi movies. Um, this would totally be cool and it totally would help. And then you can just play with these angles with all these little uh, numbers here and there to get the look that you want, okay? And as long as you don't click apply, it's in a non-destructive manner. At any moment, you can reshape this cube, okay? And this is the beauty of modifiers in all 3D modeling software. It empowers you to, to not destruct any 3D objects that you have until the end when you're completely happy with what you want, okay? That's what I meant earlier. Hopefully this makes sense because if we do it this way, at any time, you can reshape it any ways you want and it's completely okay. You can just you know, make it however you want and it's totally fine. Totally fine, okay? As long as it's not like, it's not set in stone because if we set it in stone, guess what? It's the shape now and it's gonna be the shape for as long as it is. And the only way to fix it is to literally go in here and just fix everything one by one, okay? And that could be a problem too. So what you wanna do is make sure that you are continuously leaving 
Let's see if we can go back. Yep. Leaving your modifier unapplied until it's time to apply. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm going to exit that out because we have enough faces in this whole entire file here. So this is the reason why this just wouldn't work here in this aspect. Okay. It just wouldn't work, but you guys can totally decide how you want to do that too. It's totally up to you. If you want to do it this way, you're up to do it this way and it's okay. But for me, it's not going to work. So I'm going to exit out. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it handily. I'm going to do it in a destructive manner this time. So this is why we have multiple version of this. Okay. This is why you have this one here. Cause if you screw up here, guess what? You're fine. All right. Now you know why you, I had you guys do multiple sections and multiple um, duplicates of what we did. Now we didn't do any duplicates for the tower because it was easy to make, but we will definitely duplicate this one so that when you do the beveling, if you screw up, then guess what? You're still fine. So how do we bevel then? All you have to do is click the hard edges that you believe need some beveling. Like pretty much all these needs a little bit of beveling you can do hand by hand or you can do control or alt and just click on that okay so i'm gonna bevel up these right here and i'm only gonna do one side and then totally let you guys decide where you want your other bevels to go okay okay i can't see if it there it is. And just show you guys really quick what it looks like when it's all over with. Okay, so these are the hard edges that I want beveled for now as a start. And then maybe we could do these two here. So let's just click on that. And when you do it this way, guys, it's trial and error. You just want to see how it's going to look. And that's it. Now, now click control B and then move your mouse to see how it's going to look like. And from there you get to decide. Okay. And to me, that looks pretty good right there. And if you move the middle mouse wheel, you get to decide how many bevels you're putting in. The more you put, the heavier it becomes on your ship, especially if it's for visual effects or if it's for a video game. So, one way to fix that is also to just smooth your um, ship when it's over with. And so for me, I just like to usually just do three or four and just keep it like that. Okay. So we're just going to keep it like that. And then once you keep it like that, don't click on anything yet because you have all these things here that you can play with. Okay. So I'm just going to let you guys play with this without telling you what things, what, what they each do, because if I, if I do, then it's not the best way of learning for this section here. Most of the time you will never touch this unless if you have to, but guys, go ahead and play with this so you can see what it does on your own. Okay. Because this is a tutorial. I'm only showing you guys the Bevan style here. Once you have this and you are completely satisfied with it, then just ask yourself, okay, did it do everything that I wanted to do or did I miss a few? And as you guys can see, I missed that one right here, right? Okay, so then all I have to do is just undo once and that's it. I don't have to undo 65,000 times. Just grab the one that I missed, click shift to make sure that all the other ones you grab are not messed up too. And then click on that. And now once you click control B, it's already there. Let's try that again. Control B. There it is. And it was about right there, I believe. And same thing, guys. Just look around to make sure everything's in order and it looks just the way you want it to. And once you're happy, click your left mouse button and that's it. You have beveled the size that you wanted. And if you go back to object mode, it is beveled. Now, you can still see the edges here. I left mine with these edges on like this because I knew for a fact that my ship would never have a close up shot because if it does, then you can tell that the materials on the ship, the textures will kind of blur out. Um, 
for close-up shot of anything, the 3D models have a lot of triangles and or the texture is extremely high, uh, such as the 8K or 10, 10K textures. And in a, sub in a subsurface painter, for example, uh, you would have to get this close and paint everything by hand to make sure that a close-up shot looks really nice. That's why in a lot of sci-fi movies, if they do have close-up shot, guess what? It's only like this, right? And then it moves away. And so this part here is super well textured, but then as it fades away, everything aren't, all right? Something to think about. Okay, once you have this, like I told you guys, we want to smooth it out, right? So the way to smooth it out is to just right click and click smooth. So when you do this, you have this problem. So how do we fix this? You go on this icon here and you click auto smooth. And when you click on auto smooth, it's only going to find angles that are um, at a 30 degree angle to smooth. And so as you guys can see, it's smoothed our ship as best as it possibly could, right? But then you're gonna see problems like these right here, where it's not smoothing as best as it should. And so all you have to do is move this angle and just trying to find the best way possible to smooth your ship. Or you can say, you know what? Uh, maybe I don't wanna use this auto smooth at all and just keep it flat and just leave it like this. But if you want things to be super, super smooth on your beveling that this is how you do it too so i'm going to actually undo everything here really quick and and this is taking a little bit longer to explain because i want to show you guys everything so go back to this point here and then click Control b and then just move it till you see oh my goodness gracious and then all you have to do is your wheel button on your mouse just add a whole bunch of these lines but again it's gonna make your ship super big in size and a lot of faces but let's click away and now when we go to object it is smooth okay it is smooth but it's gonna add a lot of faces okay and that could be a problem too so my ship it's smooth but it doesn't have that many faces i only added three or four uh, extra edges i hope this makes sense to you and so let's undo that really quick and again i'm only going to be using yep that's it three or four to me that's good enough and then just keep it like that all right okay guys this totally takes care of this part because now from here all you have to do is decide where you want that smoothness to go and just add all, all of your bevels in, okay? And that takes care of this part right here. All right, guys, I guess this totally concludes part two of 3D modeling this core ship over here in Blender 2.82. And as you guys can see, I took the liberty of doing more beveling and the ship looks a lot better. It's crazy how just beveling a few edges here and there makes your ship look a much, much better, okay? And so I chose areas to bevel and I chose areas not to bevel only because when it's time to unwrap, you're going to realize that beveling a lot makes it super difficult to unwrap okay guys as usual i hope you found this tutorial extremely helpful i try to keep things so simple that you guys find the confidence in yourselves to do these things that i enjoy doing as well thank you so much for watching if you dig like and sub pass my videos to your friends let's all learn together those of you who are greater than us please share your knowledge but until then thank you for being here and i will see you guys next time bye bye now